Hello, folks, and um, welcome to the February office hours of um, uh, the February DevSync of uh, the Flatcar Container Linux project. Um, as usual in the DevSync, this is a chance for maintainers to plan their work uh, and for other folks to tune in, um, sync to the maintainers, um, educate them on the um, on the latest needs and uh, bring up issues. Uh, first of all, let's do a little intro round um, for folks who aren't uh, regular attendees. Um, Ed, do you want to start? And after you finish, you pick the next one uh, who uh, is supposed to intro after you. Hello, uh, my name is Ed Reimer. I'm from Cloud Based Solutions. I'm a software engineer, cloud engineer. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's all from my side. Uh, Ed? I'm Ed Vilmedi from Equidix. I'm a developer partner manager for open source um, and uh, been working uh, to support Flatcar with infrastructure uh, as well as uh, chasing down an issue that uh, uh, we found recently that was uh, all fixable on our side. Uh, there'll be more about that later. And uh, next on Sue. Um, I, I am Dong Su. I'm, uh, I'm part of the Flatcar maintenance team at Microsoft, and I'm currently uh, working on UERS and other projects, uh, including security updates. Next, Krishmir. Hello. Just like Dong Su, I'm also a part of the Flatcar team uh, at Microsoft. I'm really working on keeping uh, this up to date. So the packages have the package automation. Uh, and recently, I'm also working on some uh, system D features that we well, we want to have in Flatcar too. Um, to Erga, I hope that I said that name correctly. You're on mute, Nacho. Yeah, okay, maybe Tilo. Hi, I'm Tilo. Uh, I'm a Flatcar maintainer, and um, I uh, care a bit about the infrastructure as well. Um, I will um, conduct this meeting today. Usually, it's Cyan driving this meeting, uh, but Cyan won't be able to make it today. So I'm gonna cover for him. I also gotta cover for um, uh, Johanan, who was on a very deserved vacation this week uh, for the cluster API call. So before we start our regular um, tasks review and boards review, is there anything um, our guests wanna bring up? Uh, I'd like to thank folks for their help in uh, issue 1371, uh, we had a race condition in our install process uh, for Flatcar, uh, and we, uh, through the help of the team, were able to figure out how to mask out a system D uh, system D event um, in our install of Flatcar. There's a reboot that happens and a phone home process that happens. And we want to phone home after the reboot, not before it. So that was the that was the fix. Awesome. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Um, it's it's exciting having folks tuning in and saying thanks. That's amazing. Um, Adrian, I think you had an issue that you wanted to bring up, right? Um. Oh, sorry. Um, if I had an issue to bring up. Uh, didn't you want to bring something into the meeting, like PR or something? I, I uh, uh, yes. Um, so basically, if you want to upgrade uh, System D, uh, the new release, or just push it uh, back to to the next uh, to the next release. But we can also discuss on the uh, on the project management uh, um, topics. I think the System D upgrade it's, uh, it's there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's do it then. All right, then let's get this started. Um, 
I'll share my screen so we can look at the agenda and all the nice links there. Here we go. We see ourselves. And now this is the agenda. Um, in uh, some flat car related news, we got our uh, system D PR merge um, that uh, implements uh, optional immutable overlays. So if you use system D SysX right now, um, you will, and you merge SysX, then uh, whatever the SysX ships will um, turn read only on your root file system. And that's mostly okay for that, except for ETC. And for ETC, uh, we want uh, it to remain mutable. So we implemented this. But it'll also make system D SysX more usable for general purpose distros. Um, so in the future, after system D256, uh, where this feature will be included, if you merge a SysX, um, then optionally, uh, whatever it ships will remain uh, mutable. And that's exciting. Pressure made it that work. No, I, awesome. see, I see that the guy has joined, so I can probably talk more about it. Um, we have a whole SysX section, actually, uh, later on. I'm just going to call out the merge. Oh. Um, amazing stuff. Um, also, we demoed um, SysX based provisioning, uh, Kubernetes provisioning of worker nodes to Cap Z. We formally did it uh, to Cap O last year. Uh, Cap Z was very excited about it, and um, some of the maintainers um, opted to support us uh, with Core, Core Cluster API to drive this, this feature forward. Uh, there's the recording if you want to check it out. Okay. Let's see our monthly contributors. So we have those uh, contri uh, automatically generated contributor stats um, every month. And um, last month, in general, we had two new contributors. Um, that was um, Ubisoil um, contributing documentation to our website, and uh, Damopfe, which um, contributed to Cloud Sigma stuff. Cloud Sigma support, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Uh, Community-driven platform support. Um, yeah. Not much change on the discussion. Um, we have a few open discussions uh, for Q&A, but um, not much change there. But uh, we worked a lot on uh, on issues. A lot of issues were opened. Um, in the January timeframe, we weren't able to close as many um, and in the February uh, time frame, we still uh, catch up. So 40 items created and 27 closed. Um, the R's uh, look a lot. Oh, advisories. Um, this is probably something uh, Dongsu want to talk about. OK. Um, yeah. In January, uh, last week of January and February, there were really many new um, security issues, and highlights of that was about the container issues for Run C and Docker. You know, for uh, before two weeks already, we already released a new set of releases from stable to alpha, including LTS, including the fix for the security issues. Mm. Other than that, there were also remaining issues, security issues like libuv and libxml and so on. So these uh, PRs were already merged. Uh, uh, those new um, versions will be included in the, the upcoming releases in March. That's it. Awesome, great job. So um, this is a snapshot from the 21st of January. Um, we're on the 27th today, and apparently uh, some of the formerly open security issues have already been addressed. Uh, great work. All right. I mean, uh, this is a snapshot from 21st of February, right? Correct, yes. Yeah, yeah. I understood, like, from January, so over a month old. Uh, no, no, no. This is uh, end of January to end of February. I mentioned yeah. the January time frame before because over the over the new year and over the beginning of January, we piled up a few issues which we didn't attend to because we were on vacation. Uh, okay. And we're, we're still kind of feeling a little bit of the backlog, but um, things look uh, a lot better overall. Um, yeah. 
uh, quite a few new PRs, um, quite a few big ones, and uh, most of them merged. So that looks great as well. Going on, going over to the project status and looking at the roadmap board. And roadmap boards are usually boring um, because you know those are big issues and they ra they rarely ever move. However, um, with the recent um, progress in in Sysx, we actually have the composability roadmap item uh, queued for release. So all of the um, items are implemented. Uh, systemd Sysx and systemd Confex are now in reach since um, upstream merge the mutability pr and uh, composable image-based operating system is something that we're going to look into next and we're almost there uh, in this, this regard as well so there's um, actually some movement with the roadmap and because i'm i'm seconding for a lot of people today i just keep talking and go to the cluster api part um, this is usually done by uh, johanna who couldn't uh, make it today um, we still have um, cluster API uh, system DSYSX work in progress. Uh, we, are, uh, we have implemented two out of four um, providers for that. Uh, and we, we guess that we'll wrap up the other two providers by the end of the quarter. Um, also work is ongoing with the bootstrap and kubeadm um, separation. This is some foundational work, uh, which is currently in the proposal phase. And uh, there has been some feedback and uh, some um, other community members expressed interest in uh, contributing to this, um, this design document as well. Switching to the system D6 status, Kai. Okay, and yeah, so I think you already mentioned it, right? That uh, Crashmere has this upstream pull request merge to have a mutable mode for system D, SysX, and Confec. We will make use of that for to ship our default files for Slash EDC. It's currently a custom uh, overlay mount, but uh, in the end, we will, it will be very similar. So I hope nobody notices. And yeah, the nice thing is that uh, from then on, users can start using um, Convex. And for example, you could kind of provide a pre-baked configuration, maybe through, uh, through Ignition, where you have one Convex image um, put on the uh, disk. And then you could maybe update it with system Jesus update, for example, or another mechanism like Emancible or whatever. And it gives you a very reliable way of managing configuration. And yeah, other uh, things we want to uh, tackle is you mount the overlays more early so that you can uh, affect the system better, for example, with certain uh, kernel uh, module parameters and so on that are set up very early. And one more topic is um, that we want to bring more official flat car extensions. So currently we mainly ship OEM extensions through this mechanism, and we want to add more, for example, uh, to split up the base image into a kind of layers where you can really reduce it to a, the minimal amount needed, or you can maybe pull in more extra tools and so on, and it will be easier than the current uh, dev container that we have or the um, toolbox mechanisms that we currently offer. OK. Yeah, I guess that's the, the main idea, but we don't have a, like a clear timeline now and uh, things that will come next. But currently, the yeah, ideas are in NVIDIA, SysX, ZFS, Podman, and um, yeah, maybe more uh, WebAssembly stuff as well. Awesome. That's, um, that's a great outlook. All right. Um... Yeah, still pending is our specification update um, for for the SysX specification on mutability. Uh, all feedback is addressed there. I guess I'm going to give it another go next week or so. And um, we basically have uh, an implementation in System D now that we can point at. So the spec PR should make some progress um, as well. We already covered the advisories in the um in the contributors report 
So we're good with that. Um, let's look at the line work. And I guess that's the point where we talk about uh, system D, right, Edwin? Uh, yes. So uh, recently I've uh, worked uh, to uh, polish everything uh, related to system D. Um, now uh, every test, uh, integration test and more passes. Um, it's also been tested with uh, uh, the cluster API uh, by me. So uh, there's only the uh, decision to be taken uh, if we, uh, how fast we'll, we are gonna merge this because it's a, it's a big upgrade and um, some people, yeah, might want to, you know, take smaller steps or have more time to, to test uh, the, the switch. So from, from my perspective, uh, it should be uh, ready to, to be merged. Um, the, the CI, the mantle CI passes. I think uh, I also started the Jenkins one um, just a few moments ago. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it should be ready to be uh, at least reviewed um, more uh, in more detail. I will try to find some time this week to, to review the changes that you have made. I might need I might need to yeah rebase the 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 commits um, squash them or, or something like that. But uh, the the code it's uh, it's functional. It has also a thing that, uh, in boot engine that is more interesting. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the scoring needs to be done. We, we, do you know we have this usual way of uh, making changes in, in, in the overlay where we, the first commit is usually something taken straight out of Gentoo and mm -hmm. the follow-up commit is the, our modification. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, it, it has been so you know, this, that way. Yeah, so I, I try to review the code for the next one time. Hopefully this week. Okay, great, thank you. Oh, there was also like like one one question uh, from Jeremy. He asked, like, should we do the update straight from because right now we have like two ver versions, two hundred fifty two, I think, in Flatcar, and now we are jumping straight to two hundred fifty five. I don't have a problem with that, but I, I remember like Jeremy asking a question, why we do this big jump right now instead of like doing it gradually. I don't know if there's, there are any blockers. I mean, this is quite a big jump and maybe there may be some behavior changes, but uh, I don't know if other people have problem with doing this big jump for system D. We have neglected a bit the system D updates. Yeah, the, the Gen 2 upstream it's already uh, supports only 254 and 255 uh, with and it's closing into basically dumping uh, 254. Um, I mean the patch minor version was 0.9 for 254 and it's usually being dropped after 12 or 13 patches. Uh, to, uh, so basically, we are closing also on the on the Gen two uh, release, uh, and it's already two five five point three in the Gen two upstream. So um, it it can be a good uh, for the future, but we take more risk. Um, I think it's in the, in the end we get the same bugs. It's just that we get it all at once. So. And... Yeah, we even get some bug fixes as well. I don't know. It's I don't see a big difference. It's just more work to do these intermediate updates, that, which won't be used in the end. Yeah, uh, uh, 254 uh, versus 252 was pretty big uh, uh, in the, in the sense of the in ETRD changes. So I think we we should not be having too many problems with 254. 
I think I think we're just playing a catch up game with um with uh, upstream releases and um so my personal uh preference would be a bigger jump like the one we're doing right now um we have uh, extensive test coverage to basically make sure we're not something we're not breaking something outright um we can announce the big change uh and make sure people test before it's coming but um, i think it's the best way to catch up with uh, system the upstream releases and um then after we introduce that big change uh to continue in smaller changes that was always a plan so we had this always like a list of small changes that we incrementally support uh update system d but you know sometimes it doesn't work out um, yeah it would be would be nice to have this automated but yeah i'm still working on it so hopefully soon cool cool um then let's at least uh review the pr and see uh what we can do and uh, continue the discussion um offline sure thing. i will uh, i'll be there to, to fix <laughs> awesome thanks adrian cool um yeah uh other work is progressing um folks on the call is there anything that you want to call out in particular like any issue you're interested in discussing discussing Yeah, you know, you heard the line or by definition it's not interesting. So you always like small items here and there. So Yeah, yeah. But I mean I, I need to make the mic available for, for folks to pick it up, right? Um and it's if it's just line work then everything's fine um as well. Okay. That brings us to the releases. Don't so. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Two weeks ago, we released in uh, release uh, for the token one C security issues, and that was done smoothly. And uh, in two weeks, in um, second of second week of March. We are going to do another set of releases. Alpha um, 3906, beta 3871, stable 3815.2.1. And this uh, in this column of uh, March releases, already 33 items are registered and includes a bunch of package updates and security updates. But I think the most important part is uh, systemd255, and that is still open, open, waiting for our review. So yeah, hopefully it'll be done in this week. And another big thing would be like the critical security issues like libuv, that is uh, near the bottom of that anyway. That was already merged and it will be included in the, the upcoming releases. And also, there are a couple of bug fixes, um, like ignition uh, wrong paths for config for custom OEM. Yeah, we'll look into that. OK, that's it. Is there anything to be discussed? Um, related to the release, uh, there's a small change I uh, I, I made uh, to fix kubevirt. Uh, I don't know if uh, that should be put in uh, the big change log. Um, um, so kubevirt was not working uh, before the fix uh, from this uh, this month. I, I don't know if it, if it's uh, important or um, uh, is it is it this one? Yeah, it looks yes. Right. right. Okay, cool. So 
do we have a PR merged in script? Yes. Perfect. Then it'll be part of the release. Nice. Um, boot engine fix came out. Um, it should actually pop up. Um, yeah, I, I, it's not written with uh, the cube weird. Uh, maybe no problem. I I'll, I'll, this is actually good. This is actually a good thing. Um, Did you actually move to the good section? Because you probably move to the old release. Oh no, you're right. I'm yeah. I uh, I'm I'm. I'm yeah, so trying to the great, great great catch. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, the the column the column disappeared and it was already in the right release and I'm just you know doing confusing things here. Uh, so all good, Italy part of the release uh, and it's being tracked in the respective column already. Uh, thanks for calling it out. Cool. All right. <clears throat> then um, thanks everybody for joining. Is there anything else you folks want to discuss? Um, I, yeah, please. Okay, Tilo, um, I'm happy to report out on a monthly cycle on, on infrastructure. Um, in particular, I'm starting to track uh, spend for the Flatcar Linux project at Equinix on a much more uh, rigorous basis than before. Mm -hmm. um, wondering, you know, should I open up an issue with notes in it? If so, which um, which repo? Like, give me some guidance as to where to put things. I'm happy to share things in a document or in an issue, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, try to provide some historical stuff. We've been working with some CNC updates on um, on a sustainability initiative, uh, which is a, a, can be as a first first approximation. Like, do as much as you can with as little as you. Could possibly do, yeah, um, and uh, try to surface, try to surface some of their stuff. Some of that discussion is going to happen uh, at KubeCon EU in Paris. Um, maybe there'll be an opportunity to talk about that as well. So I, I would I would put that right back on you. Um, we can we can put it in any any place you're comfortable with, with publishing, right? So as a little bit of background for folks on the call. Uh, Equinix Metal has been a awesome and very thorough sponsor of the Flatcar project. They sponsor our build and test infrastructure and uh, our image distribution infrastructure as well. Um, so without Equinix Metal, much of um, the uh, Flatcar tests and releases wouldn't even be possible. That's, that's amazing work. Uh, if you want to have this in a tracking issue, then absolutely, please go forward uh, and create one. Um, another thing that comes to mind, maybe a GitHub discussion. Like, would that work for you? Because I think there's a good format for that, right? And it's easier discoverable. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll start a discussion. Um, I'm trying to automate as much as I can so that we can give you a, you know, monthly number, uh, instantaneous number, and uh, try, to, try to track that at the time. Of this cool. I see a question in the chat. Um, so one, of the, uh, one of the attendees asked if there's anything to do on the documentation side. Um, let me check. So we have a, um, in the Flatka issue tracker, we have a, a label for documentation. And I'm going to link it right here as, as I find the kind box it is. You can actually, um, you can actually do search uh, on the Flatcar issue tracker on GitHub. That's the Flatcar project in the, in the Flatcar GitHub org. Um, and um, you can just uh, search for kind slash docs. That's the label that we use. Um, and um, this uh, will set you up with, oh, quite a number of uh, documentation requests, actually. Um, very nice. OK, well, cool. um, any other questions or feedback that you have? 
All right. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, see you in two weeks uh, in the flat car office hours. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all. Goodbye. Bye.